Hey guys, it's Lam here again, your tech guide. And today's video, we are going to be checking out the smartphone video cage from Yulanzi. So this smartphone cage is pretty much targeting consumers out there who really loves to use their smartphone devices and wants to take full advantage and utilize what it can do by adding accessories to it, such as a shotgun or wireless mic, a video light, a recorder, mounting it on a tripod or a gorilla pod, or attach more phones or GoPro cameras to it. The metal cage itself is CNC made quality. It is lightweight, it's got a smooth finished surface to it which feels great in the hand. It has two cold shoe mounts on the top and four one quarter threaded mounts on each side. It's got a dual grip design so you can handle it by one hand or both hands, whatever is more suitable and comfortable for you. The smartphone cage is compatible with most smartphone devices out there, including the ones with the dual camera setups. It's got two adjustable knobs on the front, one for the cradle where the phone is placed at, and the other knob is for adjusting the lens placement. All parts attached to the phones are protected with a flannel padding so you don't have to worry about your device being scratched up. It does come with a wide angle lens inside the box along with a camera filter for outdoor use, a lens hood, and a camera strap perfect for traveling. So here's my smartphone cage setup looks like. I've got my Note 9 as my camera. I have attached my Rode shotgun mic to the cage. You do need to get an adapter to make this work. The one I've got here is the Rode SC4 TRS to TRRS adapter. I'll put a link on the description below where you can get one. I also attached the video LED light. This one here is the Aperture ALMX. This is my go-to portable video LED light. It is super bright and has a long lasting battery life. And to finish it off, I've attached the cage to my Joby Gorillapod. So overall, when it comes to weight with all the accessories mounted on the cage, it is still pretty lightweight guys. All right guys, so let's do some video test sample here with the wide angle lens that came inside the box. We're going to test it out with and without the lens so we can see the difference of the depth of field. And also we will evaluate the usability of the smartphone cage with all the accessories added to it and see how it feels overall. Okay guys, before I go step outside from the garage, let's uh, check out my garage here. It's quite dark. I'm gonna turn on the LED light and boom. Very, very handy guys. This cage is so handy. You don't have to um, add anything to it. Everything is just mounted on it. And it's just, it just works fantastic. This whole setup. And right now in this garage, it's quite dark guys. So let's turn it off again, just to show you how dark it is. And let's turn the light on and boom. And the audio must be sounding fantastic, especially with the shotgun mic from Rode. And uh, I'm just opening up the garage right now. Okay. I'm gonna mount this over here. We'll, we'll do an audio test as well. I don't know if you guys could see me here, but I'm going to step back, do an audio test. I'm going to remove the mic and then uh, put it back on again and show and let you guys listen to the, the audio quality, the difference between them. Okay, so I've got the Rode mic on attached right now. I'm going to step back and just try to hear my voice, guys. See if you guys could still hear me. Um, I think right now I'm roughly around 15 feet. I don't know if you guys could still hear me or not. I'm gonna step back some more here. And I'm like almost 20 feet around here. So I'm gonna go back and I try to remove the mic. I'm gonna try to test that out without the mic. So I'm gonna take it off right now. I'm just gonna, here we go. Hold on, let me take this off. So now it's off, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to step back. I'm roughly around eight feet, 10 feet right now. I don't know if you guys could hear me loud and clear, but I am using the same tone of voice volume. I'm going to step back more. I think this is roughly around 20 feet, guys. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but that is the audio test. 
So now we're gonna try to test out the wide angle lens. So I'm gonna put back the mic on again here guys and uh, check out the wide angle lens. I don't know if I was if I was in focus there guys if or I'm in view. Okay, so let me grab my my lens here. I hope I'm in focus or I'm in view guys. If not, I might have to redo this whole test again. So let me screw the wide angle lens. This is a 16 millimeter. So let me double check first. Okay. So that is the wide angle. Let me set up the camera once again, make it nice and leveled. All right, so here we go. This is the wide angle. I am roughly around 10 feet. So I don't know if you guys could see the difference between the wide angle and without it. So I'm gonna step back roughly around 20 feet. Okay, so now let's try to put the, the filter. ND filter. So let me just put that on there. Let's go to the sun here. Let's have some sunlight so we can see the difference. Okay, so we've got the sun here. Whoa, right in my face, guys, right in my face. So let me put this on. And boom. So that's what it looks like, guys, with the filter on. All right, I'm gonna take it off again. There you go, without the filter. Now let's put it back with the filter, without filter, without. So there you have it guys. The smartphone cage is an amazing product. It does what it's supposed to do. It allows you to attach a lot of accessories on your smartphone devices, enhancing your video quality and productivity. It feels great in the hand. It's not too heavy. The only negative I have for this product is that the wide angle lens is sold separately. At first, I thought it came as a package, but after reading it more carefully on the site, it stated that it's sold separately, which kind of sucks. But other than that, with or without the wide angle lens, the smartphone cage is still a great buy. Once again, guys, thank you for watching my video. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.